kindergarten. So now we're going to take a look at Vasily Kandinsky's artwork. And you can see that he, he's a famous abstract artist. And here he has rectangles, lots of rectangles, all different colors, big ones, little ones, tiny little ones and circles, really tiny circles, then some bigger ones. And he has some squares, look at that tiny little square, and some bigger squares. He has lots of um, different geometric shapes in here, triangles, but look how they're different. This triangle is a line, but this rectangle is a big shape colored in. I mean, it's a shape, but it's not colored in. Then he has all these very interesting organic shapes in here. Look at this shape. You can't really tell what it is. It's imaginary. And look at this shape. This shape looks almost like a snake, right? This one's like a circle with all different shapes broken up inside of it. And here's another organic looking shape and here and here here has all these different organic shapes along with the geometric shapes like rectangles and circles and triangles so we're going to make some pictures like Vasily Kandinsky here's another one of his look at all those different colored circles big ones small ones this one, he even has kind of like an outline, a mysterious looking circle. These have different circles inside of circles. That one looks almost like an eyeball or a cell or a little um, egg shape or a frog. Here's another one of Mr. Kandinsky's pictures. Look at all these ovals and circles and some organic shapes and then all different kinds of lines. Thick lines and thin lines that repeat like a pattern. Straight, 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 straight. And some that crisscross vertically and horizontally right here. He uses lots of different lines on top of all those different colored shapes that he used. And the color that's the most, that kind of tells, ties everything together, is this tannish color, this brownish, light brownish color, touches all these different shapes. Look at this one. Here's another one. He has geometric shapes of circles, geometric shapes of rectangles and squares, and then he has these arc shapes these kind of organic arc shapes. And here's an organic like shape for the moon. So he's got lots of rectangles and um, geometric shapes and organic shapes. And his background here is another kind of brownish background all over with brownish like arcs, then a black background but then put bright colors. So the bright colors pop out. The dark kind of goes back. The dark colors go back, but the bright colors pop out close to you. So whenever you put a bright color on, you know it's gonna come forward. Whenever you put a darker, lighter color on, you know it's gonna sink back. See in this picture, this lighter brownish color goes back, but these bright colors pop out at you. Here's one more of Vasily Kandinsky's art. Here he has a big yellow background, all yellow. And then he has some geometric shapes, almost like a checkerboard. Lots of squares and rectangles and some organic shapes. Oh, there's that arc again, but this time he painted it instead of all tan brownish color. He has black, white, black, blue, red, and orange in his arc. Do you like his artwork? I like it. So now
now I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to draw some, first, some geometric shapes. So you tell me what geometric shape this one is. Or I need something to put under it. What geometric shape is this one? Did you say rectangle? You're right. And here's another geometric shape. What's that one? Square. This circle is going to overlap. That means go on top of this rectangle. And here's a big triangle. I'm going to make my shapes all different sizes. There's a big triangle. Maybe over here I'll put a little triangle. And over here I'll put a little circle. And this triangle looks like it's dancing. It's going diagonal. It's not straight up and down. And here's one big circle. Make the C first. And then a backwards C. And another rectangle over here. And maybe I can put some organic shapes on now. So maybe I'll put a great big arc like Mr. Kandinsky did. It looks almost like a banana. And some organic shapes. You made some really good organic shapes like ghosts and hats. Maybe I'll put an organic shape inside my rectangle too. Oh, maybe I'll put some squares inside of it instead. And then I'll put some little squares inside of this one. I'm gonna repeat my squares. And another organic shape. I have an organic shape at the top so maybe I'll put an organic shape at the bottom, or the side. This one's going to be a great big one. With a circle in the middle. And maybe another circle in there. So it looks like an eye. I could put some stripes in him, repeat my arcs inside of him. Maybe this one has two eyes, two circles. And since I have an, ab um, an organic shape on my left side, I'll put one on my right side. Okay, how about a little triangle here and a tiny little rectangle here and a little circle so I'm filling up all my spaces then get a bigger circle and a bigger circle and a bigger circle. Okay, now I'm ready to paint my background. Let's see. Can I get out my watercolors? And I want to do a light colored background. So light blue or light purple or light orange. And then I'm going to make bright colored shapes. But first, I'm going to take my crayons and outline my shapes. So I'm gonna take my crayon and go right on top of my line. Go very slowly. Try to stay right on my line. And 
outline, that means follow your line with your crayon. Okay, that one's a blue one. Maybe this will be a different color blue. It's a little bit darker. And here's another blue for this rectangle. Then maybe I'll color in my squares with black and white. Oh, where is my black? Here it is. So I have a checkerboard. Black, then skip one to make a pattern, then white, then black, then white, then black, then white. So maybe I'll color all my little ones in with crayons, but all my big ones in with paint. Okay, let's get some other colors. I'm outlining them with my crayon. I'm coloring in some little shapes. Then to make the pupils of the eye, the black part of the eye is the pupil. So then I'll make these black too. Get some bright colors to outline this one. Here is a bright color pink. Then outline all my shapes. Some of them you could color in. The little ones, some of you could leave plain. Then I'm going to make my circles. There's one circle. And another circle. They're getting bigger. That's a cool color. Here's another cool color. Maybe I'll leave the middle part of that so I can paint it. And another cool color. No, this is a warm color. How about orange? Make this a really thick circle. Color my outline thick. Can't wait to see what you do for your art. Here's my organic shape. I'm gonna outline it. And then put some black for the pupil of the eye. and a color around it. How about red? And a red stripe. Looks kind of pink. Here's red. Skip a space, put red. These are the warm colors. And 
then maybe yellow. So I have primary colors, red, yellow, and blue outline. It's starting to look fun. So I'm gonna keep coloring my outlines. And then I'll come back and we'll do a paint. So you make your geometric shapes and your organic shapes. You can overlap them. You can put things inside of them. Maybe I'll put more things inside of these, just like Mr. Kandinsky did with his art. Have fun. Make your geometric shapes and your freeform shapes, your organic shapes, and add some bright colors for the outlines.